Hello, graduating classes of 2010-2011. My name is Mark Carter, and I had the privilege of serving as your chaplain from 2008 to 2012. It's an honor to be with you today as you celebrate your homecoming. It's hard to believe that a decade has passed. A lot has happened over the course of the last 10 years, and a lot continues to happen in our world today. As I reflect back on my time as your chaplain, I'm in filled with gratitude. I remember the times of conversation, the times of prayer, the times of laughter and joy, and the times of tears and sorrow. Taking it collectively, those years were special. Those years were amazing and are truly a gift that I hold deep within my heart. I was asked to bring a short reflection on the chapel theme for this year, Love Embodied. To begin, I thought I would read from a quote from Dostoevsky. Love people even in their sin, for that is the semblance of divine love and is the highest love on earth. Love all of God's creation, the whole and every grain of sand of it. Love every leaf, every ray of God's light. Love the animals, love the plants, love everything. If you love everything, you will perceive the divine mystery in things. Once you perceive it, you will begin to comprehend it better every day, and you will come at last to love the whole world with an all-embracing love. As I think about the Deuteronomy 6 passage, which is the chapel scripture passage for the year, and this call to love the entire world with a divine love, I think about words and concepts and invitations that I just read. I think for us to live an embodied love, one that is rooted and grounded, we first must live centered lives, lives that are not fragmented but collected, lives that are mindful and attentive. This centeredness then reveals to us the connectedness of everything. As we remain attentive and mindful, we're given a new perception that everything is connected. My neighbor, my brother, my sister ceases to be someone that I use or ceases to be a threat that I defend against. And I see them as myself. This connectedness then begins to bubble up with compassion. Now I see you as me. Now I see you as gift. Now I see your role that you play. And I offer compassion to you as I offer compassion to myself. As you move forward from this place and hold both the joy and the sorrow, allow them to sit at the dinner table of your soul, for they are in constant communication and they are the landscape that love embodied is lived out. Congratulations on this milestone in your life, 10 years. May you be blessed as you walk the next 10 years and may you be a people, an individual, a community, a collective, a people who embody divine love for everything, for human being, for plant, for animal, for the entire world. May you be a representation of God's love to us. Congratulations. It was truly an honor to be with you here today. May the weekend of activity and the rest of the celebration of homecoming. Truly ignite a wild love for the world in you. God bless.